Venus signs and cross watchers. Welcome to your timeless work, career, vocation, reading. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short. Professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Production since 1998. We're going to be 25 years old in a couple of months at the time of this timeless recording. I'm also the author of Words of Grace from a professional witch. Uh, it's available on Kindle. There's a link in the description box. You can click it and preview it, and you can also, while you're down there, check out the link for Patreon, patreon.com slash drawing the circle productions, one of the best career moves I ever made as a corporate president who would have thunk it that I made it this long in my career in magic miracles and mysticism. So uh, if you want the deeper dive, this is a timeless read, but there's no extended, but all of my subscribers, regardless of level of subscription, get the extended readings past, present, and into the future, as well as uh, the president of the company, Mark Angelo Lyons, smell for short, uh, live streams there every morning. Uh, morning with an unlisted YouTube live stream link so that um, my patrons, my subscribers, uh, can chat with me talking about the day's astrological weather, the magical applications, the spiritual implications, always ending with a little prayer, a little blessing, a little something, something to send us on our way, you know, a cup of coffee, a little magic, a little, you know, something whatever, uh, to send us on our way, and it is my favorite way to start the day, and uh, so thank you for showing up for the reading, let's see what hits the table, 13 cards in total, a standard 12 that all the signs will get, uh, Aries through Pisces, but then, uh, before I do it, I ask, is there a 13th deck, a wild deck, if you will, and you guys are getting the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish as your last card down, your 13th card. So, uh, yeah, this is a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, check your other signs. Uh, because work, career, vocation, usually of those three, each sign can have a bit more of leverage. There are chakras involved. I'll explain as I go. Lots of links in the description box to go deeper on this subject in general. Uh, so let's just get down to it. Uh, both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will. And I'll tell you, I will do the best that I can to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace, the clues, the tips, the hints to essentially align your life purpose, a combination of the work you do in the world to survive your career, your creative passion, hunger, thirst, all of that, and your vocation, your spiritual calling. To bring those into alignment is lovely. I do it every day. It's a long story. Um... But I really only do these readings like two or three times a year. So, you know, work, career, vocation, it's usually a larger scope than just a week. Although you never know. So, the more I can help you shift from shadow to light, lead to gold, pain to peace, toxic to healthy, <laughs> poor to rich, whatever that means, right? Uh, scarce to prosperous, then you're shifting into a more golden timeline. We're all shifting into a more golden timeline where just planet Earth is better because we came here to do what we came here to do. Yep. So uh, I guess the shift from explanation, which is a whole lot of it every single time, to divination what is what we're all really here for. That shift happens in the still point, so please take a nice deep breath. And check out my top knot today. What do you think, Aries? Like it if you like it. <sighs> still point. Oh, there we go. Well, okay using the Caroline Mace archetype cards. I call to the collective pantheons of the divine for the Aries collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and the cross watchers. You'd be cross watching for a coworker, right? A boss, a corporation, a president, whatever you could be cross watching for. So please, uh, pantheons of the divine for the Aries collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers. Watching this video, receiving this reading, what is the dominant eighth chakra archetype, the dominant soul power, to be alchemized from shadow to light, lead to gold, paint to peace in their life purpose through the three levels of power. We will put them down, work, career, vocation, but read them, uh, vocation, career, and work. What's going on in the eighth chakra of their work? First level of power, lower three chakra dominant, survival intuition, how they survive in the, the physical world, what's going on there. And for their career. Heart, throat, third eye, crown, chakra, dynamic, more feminine energy. First level is more masculine, external yang. This is more internal, 
feminine yin goddess energy, their creative intuition, their career, their hunger, their passion, what's going on in the eighth chakra above that. Because these archetypes affect what they attract and what they repel in all those other chakras, like a satellite above the head, sending down the codes according to the contracts you agreed to before you came into this life, known or unknown. So this one's usually important. The eighth chakra of in their vocation. Third level of power. Eighth chakra dominant. Their calling, right? Their... their their spiritual, mystical part of all of this, really the point of view of the higher self, but what's the dominant archetype going on there for the Aries and the Cross Watchers uh, in this timeless uh, work, career, vocation read? These are always in the title. Oh, wow. We've got a uh, rebel, storyteller, and priest priestess work career vocation but like i said we are going to actually read these in the opposite direction because you want to go from the eighth chakra down from spirit into matter uh to see it from the highest perspective possible now written on these cards is the shadow attribute and the light attribute lead has three more atoms than gold toxic healthy right impoverished prosperous, whatever, whatever your lead to gold thing is in this particular soul power. And this is affecting what you attract and what you repel in the outside world and on the inside world as well, uh, so that you have the opportunity to do the alchemy and no longer delay that which cannot, uh, which cannot be prevented. The priest priestess archetype is a divine uh, family archetype of the nine families. The shadow attribute violates the trust of your spiritual community, seduced by your own spiritual role. Now, I'm going to say, if you're carrying those wounds because that's happened to you, because you can have an archetype, a reason, a season, or a lifetime. Uh, but this is, this is about service, but it's serving the divine, and you'll see that in the light. Uh, facilitates spiritual uh, commitments and serves as a channel of spiritual energy. I mean, I was a high priest for decades. I'm not anymore. I'm retired. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I am retired. Uh, uh, but, you know, it was an archetype that I had for a season in my life, and I'm kind of glad it's gone. Uh, because of the, the uh, clergy abuse happens in many different ways, shapes, and forms, and just because I'm a witch doesn't mean in the pagan community there ain't some crazy, crazy going on. Mm. So, you know, it's interesting in your vocation, your life calling to be a channel, at the best, to be the channel uh, of spiritual energy, and I can take any shape or form. Uh, let's look in your creative zone, your heart, throat, third eye, crown, dominant, your career, uh, the shadow attribute of the storyteller, making up stories that harm others. No, it's one thing if it's fiction, but no, that's usually not what that's talking about. Uh, the storyteller uh, in the light, the gold that you're shooting for here, ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. As, well, I've been called a tarotologist. Yeah, okay, whatever. I've been teaching this stuff for a long time. I started when I was 12. I'm 54. Yeah, I know I don't look at things. <laughs> a healthy child archetype, I'll tell you that. First sign of the zodiac, Aries. So, you know, that ability to do that, to, to experience and express life through stories. That's why I'm drawn to the archetypal Jungian work, forever young. I want to be forever young. And if it keeps the crow's feet on the crows, I'm okay with it. This is the one that feels like Aries uh, 10,000 volts. The rebel archetype in the physical world, lower, uh, lower three chakras. Oh, by the way, the storyteller is the creative family of archetypes. This is the action family of archetypes, how you take action in the world. Now, if you see this in the world, see if maybe this is in your energy field too. Where are you on a scale of lead to gold here? Shadow attribute rejects legitimate authority out of anger. <clears throat> rebels out of peer pressure or fashion, which is sort of explains new wave compared to punk. Hmm? Well, you know, video did kill the radio star. So the light attribute of this is what I love. I love a rebel. I, come on, the United States has the rebel in its sacred contracts, and Carolyn Mace did a whole thing on the sacred contracts of America. It's freaking mind-blowing. I really think it should be brought back into the public eye for us all to have a look see -see. So, the rebel, in its light, challenges authority to affect social change, rejects spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. 
Hmm, with the priest, priestess hovering up there, right? Your spiritual power, your ability to channel energy, which, you know, might make you step outside the box of what you were raised in or what's comfortable around you. So what are the stories you're telling to yourself inside creatively? And then, of course, what comes out that third chakra? Well, let's find out. Daughters of the Moon Tower Row will represent those four chakras. Uh, heart, third, third eye crown, feminine energy, the world behind your eyes, creative intuition, which is second level of power dominant career dominant, just like the archetypes, the eighth chakras are really, they're all part of your vocation. Please take a nice deep breath. I like this so far. Still point. As I call upon my goddesses of fire, the sign of Aries, powers of the south, please beloved goddesses of cardinal creative fire. Three cards, face down. Uh, for the uh, Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video and receiving this reading. What's going on on the inside, the inside, the feminine energy uh, that they may or may not show to the world, right? That is a matter of choice and, and decision, free will and all. So they've got the rebel in their work. In the eighth chakra, what's under what's behind, what's under that, right? And next four chakras down. Uh, the storyteller in their career. Cardinal fire that feels a little dominant with the storyteller, the stories they tell themselves and others. And uh, with the priest, priestess archetype in their vocation, what's uh, the yin, the feminine, uh, the creative aspect, heart, third, third eye crown for the Aries collective, sun, moon, rising, the signs of cross watches in their vocation let's look so priest priestess woo, volcano pele five of flames but on the inner this can be intense creativity that's been boiling up for a long time well as a channel for spiritual energy who doesn't have you know some clogs in the chimney so to speak you know some creosote build up you do you well we are talking fire signs here right so this can be anger this could be but could be wrath if we're going to talk you know one of the deadly sins the deadly sin of the heart chakra is wrath which can feel very volcanic but usually element of fire when i read it it's about the throat chakra it's about you might be ready to explode on something but that need not be negative it depends on where you are and how you explode how you express this this could be done through prayer this could be done through you know shadow work whatever but clearing the channel uh five of flames will do exactly that and then brings you to the six of flames in this deck uh which is play not victory the six of wands traditional tarot but you know, let's see what else hits the table here uh, i got a kitty cat bonk in my ankle a Taurus, so he wants to know what's going on in his work career vocation after I do this reading. Four of Cups on the inner, okay. Now, the Four of Cups, you know, we're used to seeing it as, you know, three on the ground and, you know, spirit hand, you know, no, I'm good, thanks, I'm driving home. Uh, this is different. This is in, in Daughters of the Moon Tarot, Fiona Morgan did this more as like the Five of Cups, but the Force, because the Five of Cups is the storm, uh, perhaps more turbulent. This might be a bit more sad sedentary emotion. Could be boredom, right? But could also be, as it says on the card, the keyword written, I'm watching you milk your situational feline mama awareness, uh, 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 could be depression, could be sadness, could be, but usually a bit stagnated. Uh, and again, three cups spilled, one behind her. Again, we're used to seeing that in the five in the traditional tarot. So we're looking at heart chakra here. What are the stories you're telling yourself? Give yourself an opportunity to feel your way through them and get that the healing is there uh, by the story and how you express it. Which, by the way, how much gorgeous, amazing, touching, soul-wrenching art comes from Four of Cups, right? <laughs> right? So if you're an artist and a rebel, this might actually very much work in your favor. <laughs> because my darling's in your way in the world on the inside. You are the hermit. You are going in further in and higher up. Ah, oh, the kayak! Ah, oh, the crone, the wise one, right? On a pale horse. Well, we'll say a gray horse. Let's not, let's not you know, Terry Pratchett binky her. No, she's, uh, she's on a gray horse in the air, always in the air. I've seen maybe one tarot deck that had the hermit at sea level, but for the most part, higher vibe, 
Heart, Throat, Third Eye, Crown all at once when it's a major arcana card. will be the same with the Mythic Tarot for the lower three chakras. So look, you are going out on your own. Rebel, Rebel. I was going to say you're a Rebel, but you're probably very good at it. Um, particularly with that storyteller, I'm going to tell you what comes out of your mouth creatively. If you are an artist, if you are a storyteller, a journalist, anything where you are relaying information create, creatively, I would say through words seems to be a part of it, you know, color stories and stuff like that, you know, uh, uh, whatever. However, you're expressing yourself in your career because at work, you might be like, screw this, I'm out of here, I'm going to go home and do my work. I'm going to go home and do my career uh, and move through that, right? And, and, you know, what you're feeling from work might absolutely be spilling over and fueling your career. Just a feeling I got with this creative fire saying, we are here to express and create. <laughs> okay. Okay. We got a uh, hard third, third eye crown the end. Let's look at the yang. You want to see the yang? Everybody wants to see the yang. Uh, the lower three chakras, relationships in the physical world, stepping out, looking at yourself horizontally because it's a general read, only you can know. Or maybe it's you from the inside looking at different people, places, and things in those relationships, including your relationship to yourself. Please take a nice deep breath. Yourself in the physical world, I mean. Watching you, Milky, or still point. As I call upon my gods of fire, sign of Aries, powers of the south, please, beloved ones, three cards face down uh, for the Aries collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video and receiving this reading, and I include Venus because loving what you do in the relationships and work group, that's how a lot of people meet, people they're meant to meet on the path, right? So what do you got for them? Lower three chakras, outside in, inside out, uh, rebel in the eighth, hermit on the inner, kind of going their own way, they may not call it a, a, another lonely day. Lower three chakras will see storyteller in their career, uh, storyteller in the eighth four of cups, and there is an emotional scale there in this general read from boredom, irritation, this sucks, to for some people maybe straight up depression, uh, but it is to rest through this. It's part of telling the story. They may be integrating. So what's going on outside in, inside out? In their career. Their career. Milk you are. Go on upstairs, lay down with your brothers. Big king size bed. <laughs> they fight over it, okay? Uh, uh, and my gods, please, of fire. Aries, powers of the self. This feels pretty key. This, I mean, this, yeah, could be the emotional fuel for this, but maybe priest, priestess in the eighth and their vocation uh, with Pele on the inner, you know, five of, five of flames getting ready to send something, make some kind of change on the inner. What's this look like? Lower three chakras, outside in, inside out for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video. Uh -oh. oh, and receiving this reading. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, well, let's start up here. Priest, Priestess. Oh, boy. Uh, 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 I've seen this scenario. This is one way of seeing this scenario. Uh, priest, Priestess, the volcano on the inside, Pele on the inside. Two of Cups on the outside. Now, look, this could be that somebody crosses your path, and it is a romantic zap. Something Kundalini activates. Look, even my top knots can sort of Maybe that's why my, you can't really even tell, can you, with the back? Fuck it. Uh, uh, this is very powerful, obviously, uh, but make sure you are not seduced by your spiritual role. A second chakra, uh, two of cups kind of thing, yes, can be a strong empathic bond. Um, and yes, it, it, you might not be in... Uh, again, that's why I do private readings. I can ask you questions to narrow down the quantum threads on that. But I am going to say, a relationship, and I would say if you're in a part of spiritual community, a coven, you know, even a, a circle of friends, there might be one in particular 
where there is something that you're being triggered on the inside, a change is happening on the inside. Um, so really keep to your power. Like really, I mean, a channel is spiritual energy. It doesn't mean I can't feel what I got to feel and heal what I got to heal, but how you interact with, and it does feel like a one-on-one, -on -one, like you and another person uh, in some way, shape, or form. And if you are dealing with somebody who is in what I call high priest, high priestess fever, the more lead than gold on that, I get ya. And how that five of wands, five of flames, can boil for a really long time before it blows. Ooh, okay, well, it seems like with your storyteller in the eighth and your four cups uh, uh, on the inner that you're probably not going to say a freaking word because you got the Scorpio card, Queen of Cups, deep emotion, but soft of eye and light of touch, speaky little, listen much. <laughs> And on and on and on, if you want to go there. I mean, fixed water. You know, maybe you're dealing with someone with Scorpio energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, who cares? But it's not, there's not a lot of expression happening here, which is good if you kind of are getting, like, it's the stories, maybe it's the stories that are going on around this situation that you're in, or maybe this is part of a larger story going on in your life that's maybe happened in other areas of your life, family relationships, whatever. Uh, certainly, well, when you see what this one is, this will probably more on the wise side of things, if this is you from the outside looking in, just Helena Troy, launch a thousand ships, baby. Because in your work, you've got the rebel in the eighth, which I love, uh, uh, the hermit, the, the, Kaliach, ay, Kaliach, the crone, uh, daughters of the moon, tarot, all four chakras, heart, throat, 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 crown, and all three chakras on the bottom, you've got Hermes, <laughs> the trickster, the magician. Come on. <laughs> Come on. With the rebel, he is sort of the rebel. I mean, Dionysus was really the rebel, but he always brought wine, so everybody got over it. Uh, but come on, the trickster god. And this is the magician. You have everything you need. If this is you from the outside looking in, I get why. In your career, you'd be like, oh, no. No, 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 no. And I'm going to feel what I'm going to feel. Because what are you rebelling against in your work? Well, it's fueling you on the inside in a way that you are building power. But be careful of the stories you tell yourself. If It's one thing if, if, if you feel like you are a hero on a journey for, you know, to, to make a better world, to make a better life for yourself. And you, you understand that there, you know, it's a hero's journey and you're going to move through it. You know, that kind of thing. Keep yourself going. Keep yourself inspired. Certainly the four cups, you're allowed that. You're allowed that time to be like, oh, this sucks, right? But if uh, it's they're all the enemy and it's all them and it's their fault, I didn't do anything wrong, well, be careful with that. Um, either way, put it into some kind of form that no one necessarily needs to see, but journaling as an example, I know. In audio journal, play it back and then delete it if you want, right? Just be careful in the cloud. I just love this, though. So, honestly, I think... And we've still got more cards at the table. But in terms of leverage, I'm going to say that your challenge seems to be here in your vocation, the larger context of all of this. But your leverage may very well be here. It's just how you rebel. It's not why... It's not... It's not what you're rebelling for. It's, it's not what you want. It's why you're doing it. What is the the engine, not the caboose, because the action follows the desire, the what you want, the why you want it, the motivation, or the inspiration. And that can be the difference between the carrot and the stick, inspiration and motivation. So uh, let's keep going. We're done with Tarot Town. And uh, we are going to get three healing mantras. Now, I work these mantras a lot. That's why they're in every reading because they work for me. Uh, as a spiritual teacher, I think the most important... Spiritual teachers are one of my hats. I think the most important thing I can do is share what works for me and understanding it's not going to all stick for everybody. Priest, priest does. Uh, so, one for each. We're not going to bookie book it because that takes too long. You can watch any of my other readings. Sooner or later, they, come, they all come up. There are only 52 of them. So, uh, 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 yeah, we'll put them together. And there are two ways to read it. The titles, the names of the mantras in one direction flip it and then read the actual mantras themselves in the other. So, let's see uh, what the Ascended Masters of Life Purpose have to say to help you out. Give you a little clue, a little tip, a little hint, a little mantra. Please take a nice deep breath. 
feeling it today, and I think it's the top knot. <sighs> Still point. And maybe it's the Kryptonian chest wear. <clears throat> As I call upon the ascended masters of life purpose uh, through the archetypal lenses, the three levels of power of work, career, and vocation, and... You know, you guys gave me an interesting contract. I get to have more fun than most people do at work, but nobody sees what goes on behind the scenes. Uh, except you guys and maybe my other uh, gods and whatever. So please, three cards in clarity, work, career, vocation for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video and receiving this reading to help them to alchemize the shadow to light, the lead to gold, the pain to peace the toxic to healthy uh, they're limited to limitless uh, in their work career vocation they got the rebel yeah we'll do these face up I don't mind mixing it up a bit we got the rebel in their work first level of power uh, rebel in the eighth hermit on the inner magician on the outer well you give a magician the right mantra so make it clear make it specific for the Aries Collective and the cross watchers in their work. Amplifying abundance. Abundance is my birthright and I receive it now. Oh, we will talk about that uh, for their career, which they seem not to be talking about all that much. Uh, storyteller in the eighth, though, really. The, the creative power of stories for surezies. And if there are actual writers paying attention to this, now is not the time to tip your hand or your cup, so to speak, particularly if you're feeling weird about it, but if you need to talk to somebody, make sure it is in a, a, a spiritually uh, aligned, confidential, right, keep it secret, keep it safe kind of gig. There's nothing wrong with talking to somebody, but make sure the boundaries are in place. So what's the healing mantra you got for them, Ascended Masters, in their career? Anchoring the light. The light is always within me. Well, that certainly speaks of the journey of shadow to light, lead to gold, paint to bees. It's the truth. The truth of who we are is truth, light, truth. But just like in alchemy, the gold is in the lead, but for those three elements. So, so think of a truth, but that's covered with this thin veneer of lead, right? This gold connected with this thin veneer of lead or a thin veneer of illusion, yeah? So anchoring the light, the light is always within me. That is always going to be the truth. But if that's what you're focusing on here, that's certainly going to change how you see that story of what you're going through in your career, but perhaps as a reaction because you can really make a shift. That's your leverage right there. You can rebel against, but make sure you're doing it in a way that keeps you intact and in integrity. Which is hard to say. All right. Uh, ascended Masters, Life Purpose, Work Career Vocation. They got the Priest in the Eighth. Five of flames, Pele on the inner. Uh, two of cups on the outer. And like I said, if there's something unethical there it, and it doesn't necessarily have to be sexual or romantic it can just be a code of head it, like if that is going on or if those are the wounds that are being carried there from the past please if it is if it isn't what is the perfect specific mantra to help them alchemize the shadow of light the lead to gold the paint to peace and their vocation which seems pretty key here uh in uh with priest priest priestess in the eighth pele two of cups transforming tragedy losses my reminder that more room has been made for greater gifts to be received i felt something going on there so look if there has been abuse, neglect, codependence, or a loss, and those are the four ego wounds, any combination, in terms of a one-on-one -on -one relationship with somebody who abused their spiritual power, loss is my reminder that more room has been made for greater gifts to, to be revealed. So there was a tragedy here somewhere. It can be from the past, but it could certainly be influencing it now, and hence influencing that four of cups on the inner, Scorpio on the outer, the stories here. And get that, the light, uh, shadow is not a thing. It is an absence of light. So illusion is not a thing. It's an absence of truth. So to tune into that truth that the light is always within me. 
that I'm going to anchor that in the moment. And so whatever I'm feeling is being brought out into the light. And what happens if you bring a shadow into the light? Alchemy for you and me. Let's keep it light. Let's see. Uh, so, uh, and of course, with the rebel, I think really here is your physical leverage in the world. If you're dealing with money issues and you're not so thrilled with the way things are going in the world, if, you know, well, here we go, challenges authority to affect social change. If you're doing it for that golden, almost heroic, mm, like Deadpool, I guess, right? Maybe a bit more anti or like a rebel hero. And we've got a bunch in the Marvel in the DC and the elsewhere else world Susie what's this but certainly you got to go your own way on this one you at least got to go inside and really really tune in and we'll talk about it in a minute uh, with this magician because I know this I know a bond this is my birthright and I receive it now I mean I attach it to Looney Tunes so that I can remember it as somebody who's self-employed talk about a hermit on the inner magician on the outer you bet well there's a contract in that one Abundance is not getting, every, having more than enough of everything. It's about knowing that you will be provided for by the universe in exchange for you shining your light at full capacity, which often takes rebelling when the world wants to dim your light. Now, if you are an artist, I get it, right? Particularly if you are a revolutionary artist. You know, in any way, shape, or form, like art isn't all about the performance and the fine arts. It can be an any kind of art, culinary, you know, whatever, magical arts. So your key to this, and we still got one more card down, the, the magical spell cards. So in your work, you're amplifying abundance. In your career, you're anchoring the light. And in your vocation, you're transforming tragedy. And particularly if you're a priest or priestess who are helping other people heal from that kind of stuff then you have from your own vocabulary of the soul to communicate loss is my reminder that more room has been made for gifts to be received and inside light is always within me i'm going to be fine this is these are the waves coming and going got to feel it to heal it and in your work claiming the abundance that is your birthright so you receive it now it's a straight line through you can work this in either direction but i'm going to say Something about starting in the first level of power with work seems to be the move to bust. So, last part down. I love doing these reads. I would do more of them, but I do these for clients quite a bit, right? They're like, well, work is fine, but I feel so unsatisfied. Like, I'm kicking ass in work, but, you know, and I just feel disconnected from spirit, right? These help bring it all together, because honestly, it's all one thing. It's your life purpose. Easier to deal with it in three levels sometimes. Let's get you a magical spell card. I pretty much only use these for the five card draw new to full moon reads. Uh, but for the element of fire, but you're an element of fire. Let's see what hits the table. Please take a nice deep breath. Got it. Still point. Last card down. I call to the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism. <laughs> it would make sense. Magic, and mysticism. Uh, for the uh, uh, Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, Across, Watchers, watching this video, receiving this reading. What is the spell fragment? A little something, something, a little creative uh, clue tip hint to help them bring this all together, to help them alchemize the shadow to light, the lead to gold, the pain to peace, the hell to heaven, the perdition to paradise in their life purpose, in their work, career, vocation for this timeless Aries read. Safe travel. Keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. So, there does seem to be uh, a form of travel here. Now, do keep in mind, Hermes, the magician, the god of messengers and travelers, long-term as well as running errands, by the way. Uh, and you're at a crossroads in the magician. Not every card does it that way. Not every magician card. This one does. Uh, Julia Sherman Burke, Mythic Tarot, one of my favorite decks. I don't read decks regularly that aren't my favorites. I don't have to choose from. So safe travel. Keep me safe and let me roam. 
far away from but bring me home it feels like someone's bucking the system here in work and uh, getting their act together and taking it on the road and hermit on the inner and magician on the outer that feels exactly what that is uh because abundance is their your birthright and you receive it now wow <laughs> so we'll put this together in a blessimation let's see what flies out my mouth and at the end of the blessimation it technically ends the reading but then I have to release the Aries Collective and the Cross Watchers from my energy field so I can get ready and do Taurus <sighs> please take a nice deep breath <clears throat> clear that third chakra as I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for the Aries collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signed, and cross watchers, because they're going to have to deal with them, <laughs> most likely, uh, in their work, career, vocation read. May they be blessed with all that they need in, uh, from this read, that in their vocation they can facilitate spiritual commitments, maybe within themselves to the divine as well, uh, serving as a channel of a spiritual energy, channeling that energy, that five of flames, Pele, creativity, something or other, dealing with one-on-one -on -one relationships in general, which could be like a priest, priestess, person they're serving, however they that plays out, but definitely a second chakra thing going on there, and it's a soul contract, whether it's twin flame or soulmate, who cares? Uh, with uh, As they transform tragedy, uh, loss is their reminder that more room uh, has been made for greater gifts to be received, and if they've lost someone very close to themselves, a partner, a business partner, a lover, a spouse, or whoever important to them, then this is really showing where the spiritual work is needed and at their own pace, in their own way, so more to be. But then in their career, may they be blessed with all that they need, embrace their ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols, maybe as part of a creative process, if indeed here, this loss that has been transformed is weighing heavily on them in terms of a Four of Cups sorrow to depression, maybe just bored, but with the Queen of Cups outside of them, they may not be ready to express it, so may they get what they need on the inside to feel and to heal and rewrite this story for themselves because the light is always within them. They're anchoring the light. We're all anchoring the light, whether we, aware, we are aware of it or not, but do we want to delay what cannot be prevented because sometimes light hurts while it heals. And that's the truth. However, may they be blessed with all that they need in their work in the world, uh, challenging authority to affect social change, uh, rejecting spiritual systems that do not serve their inner needs, and going in and finding and embracing those inner needs, heart, throat, third eye, crown, is on the table and within their willpower to do exactly that and talk about willpower to then bring that down that wisdom that inspiration into physical form rebelling as they go at the crossroads with the magician hermes the god of liars gamblers thieves tricksters and travelers the messenger of the gods always right behind me hermes got my back uh, so that they can amplify the abundance because abundance is their birthright and uh, may they receive it now and regardless of the form the shape the way the path may they be blessed with safe travel keep them safe and let them roam far away then bring them home for the well-being of all and with harm to none as we will it so let it be done so mo to be so it is did you like it then hit the thumbs up and like it because that's a pretty hot read i like it i'm not so worried about y'all i think you'll be fine and if you like the top knot definitely hit that thumbs up come on it's rare that i do this but my hair was wet and it just wasn't doing what i wanted it to do you know exactly what i mean uh and uh if you want more of me here on youtube you know what to do subscribe comment all that fun stuff because i try and keep the work career vocations on the fun side too because i only do them two or three times a year 
And if you want me every day, you want to see what I do best in my work career vocation as a, as a professional witch, come Patreon on Patreon. I love it over there. And really, it seems like now every week we're getting more and more subscribers, and they're coming in on different levels. We got Seeker, Human, Hero, Angel, Witch, Immortal, Mystic, God, Goddess is our top tier. They get everything, uh, but all of them get the extended. There's no extended for this timeless, but all of the other ones, they get them past, present, future, and there's a lot of them. I've been doing them for years, and they get me every morning in that deli check-in, and I freaking love it. So, if you want a work career vocation read for yourself privately, there is a link in the description box. Uh, YouTube video I did. I really need to redo it, though the information is accurate. Booking a reading with Mal explains everything you ever wanted to know about booking a reading with Mal, but perhaps we're afraid to ask, and don't be, because I love helping people fulfill their role, their contracts, to make this world a better place, if we can. Oh my god, I just Diana Rossed us. I love you. I'm wishing you all the very, very best and the very, very blessed in your work, career, vocation. Comment, let me know how this feels, because I'd like to know. Heal. <laughs> Heal, prosper, amplify abundance. Hell, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.